Welcome back everybody. Today we're going over the Royal Arms Trigger for your Glock pistol today from AIM Surplus. Now these ones here come in all the different uh, Glock models out there. So they come in, uh, you know, for Gens 1 through 3, large and small frame Glock. We have it here on the Glock 41. Uh, one of my favorite pistols in the Glock lineup for sure. What we're going to do is uh, show you how to install it, compare it to the factory trigger, and then sort of wrap it up with my thoughts at the end. But that's what's coming up next, guys. Installation is pretty simple. We're just going to disassemble the pistol like you would any uh, regular Glock. Make sure it's unloaded and point in a safe direction. Pull the trigger, pull back slightly on the slide, pull down the tabs, release. I do have a detailed video on this, so I'm going to go kind of relatively fast through it. We're going to remove this pin right here up front. Just push through with your punch or Glock tool like we have here. Either one will work just fine. And kind of wiggle our uh, slide lock there. Take that pin out. Move the rear pin. There we go. Pop our lock and walk up a little bit. Pull up here in our ejector. At this point, we're just going to turn a little bit here with the trigger housing. Get that to pop out. Take our trigger off. This one's removed. And we're going to grab the uh, aftermarket trigger. You can see what that one looks like there. All polished up all the way around. Certainly a nice touch there. And lock it in place and we're going to drop it in at this point and install it. We're going to put our trigger group back into the pistol, put down our locking block there, and then put the pins in. We're going to put the rear one in, always going from right to left on a Glock. Take our smaller of the two steel pins up front, push that one in, get that one seated in there, put our slide lock in there, in that little groove. Again, we do have a video specifically on this in a much slower pace if you guys are interested. I'll put a link down in the video description. We're just going to wiggle this and take that second pin home. Reassemble. If we can do it right. <laughs> now that we've got it installed, you can really see the different sort of angle from the factory trigger that it sits at. It sits further back and the uh, geometry there of that 6061 CNC'd trigger here really is different than the factory one so what does that you know what does that do for us as a shooter well you can see as soon as we uh, depress the little trigger safety and start putting uh pressure on this on the trigger there's no like slack in there like there was in the factory trigger at this point we're just going to press a little bit a little bit of creep and it breaks at this point the reset is definitely shorter than it is with the factory gun still audible and tactile and it just makes it a shorter travel overall with less mush than your factory gun. The Glock 41 factory trigger pull is standard Glock, uh, nothing special there. You're gonna pull it up, you're gonna have a little bit of uh, play there, and then it hits the wall, a little bit of mush, a little bit of mush, breaks, relatively standard Glock stuff, and there's the reset. We'll put it on the gauge here and see what we're actually breaking at. One thing I wanna point out though, is it's always hard to measure Glock triggers, as folks know, because it depends really where you measure it at what kind of reading you're going to get. It looks like we're breaking just over six pounds there with that pull. And uh, we'll do another one just to sort of check it. And same thing, just over six pounds again with the factory trigger. Everything on this gun is factory except for that trigger there. So the springs, the connector, everything else is still going to be the same. So we'll compare it to what you just saw with the factory trigger and try to pull it. One thing I've noticed is on this one, we're just over 5.5. Five. And with the factory on this gun, we're getting right around 6. So I've noticed it really does tend to be right about, yep, just over 5 and a quarter right there on that one. So it does tend to be about half a pound, if you will, lighter. So not really taking it out and making it super light. But the big difference is the travel. So when you start your press you're already at the wall so there's no creep or anything like there is and mush i should say in the beginning you have a little bit of, of pressure that you have to travel through and the reset's a little bit shorter as well 
still nice and audible and tactile though like people like about glock triggers it just makes it a much shorter trigger travel overall that's really the big advantage that i see with this trigger over the factory one that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, a few things we left out. Uh, Reliability has still been 100%. We've had no issues with light primer strikes, as you'd expect, showing you that trigger pull. and Not a whole lot changes there. It's just the travel that really is the big thing. Uh, this one here, at least as of right now, and I'm shooting this video on AIM Surplus's website, is going for $119. Um, let me just sort of back up and take a big picture look at it. Um, I'm not probably the best guy to uh, do the review of this because I honestly, I don't mind clock triggers. I don't think they're that bad. However, I realize there's a large contingent of you guys that really hate all the play in the Glock triggers. Um, so no doubt about it, this is uh, something that's going to appeal to those of you out there, especially those of you that don't really want to lighten your trigger too much up. Now, for those of you that do, of course, you can still change out your springs, your connector, all that stuff, and still work in conjunction with this uh, Royal Arms trigger. So if that's something you're looking for, um, definitely take a look at it. But it's certainly solid construction. The CNC 6061 uh, aluminum on there is finished well. It has no machine marks or anything like that as you'd expect um, so certainly seems to be a quality product that works as designed if you guys have any questions about it by all means post below in the comment section you can also post over at my facebook page as always but thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and i'll see you in the next video